see it. Yeah, it's drawing nicely. Let's hand the controls over to the skipper. Right about there, you're almost curling. <coughs> nice. Main comes over, jib comes over. Usually we'll bring that uh, that new guy to you. I can see the muscle memory is kicking in beautifully. Don't worry about the uh, die hook. It's pretty unimportant and it's really light like this. And if it's uh, if it requires me as a big dude to come out here, I'm not going out there for it because it's too much weight on this side of the boat. Usually the boat now is heeled to the right side, and so uh, the pole would be lower normally. All right, lock that into place. Stop, stop, stop. It's light, but you did the mechanics perfect. Only thing you do after you do everything right is maybe loosen up the jib because it's if the jib tends to be over trimmed, most people kind of neglect it, and it's and if you're reaching, it can choke the slot off. Same same as if there was no spinnaker at all. It always goes back to those basics. I noticed uh, you just ran through the routine without, you're just like boom, boom. Um, and you've been doing the spinnaker for what, 30 minutes, 25 yeah, minutes? Yeah, it's so it's not so big a deal. And um, all right, let's do a douse. Okay. So the, the, you're on some kind of run, deep rod reach. <clears throat> the reason is it's a little tough to douse on a, on a higher reach. Downwind, it's a little easier. As soon as you blow things, it'll hide. The spinnaker will hide behind the main. So that's kind of nice. So you take the pole off. As soon as you do that, the spinnaker on any reach will hide behind the, 